Are investors ignoring your pre-revenue startup? Without a solid valuation, raising the funds you need can feel impossible. But I've got the solution. 18 critical questions that will guide you, including one surprising question most founders overlook. But it could make investors jump at your startup. Miss it, and they'll walk away. Apply these today and watch your valuation and investor interests transform. Pre-revenue valuation is challenging. You got no revenue, no profit, but that doesn't mean your business can't be valued. Here are 18 questions I ask when considering the valuation of an early stage company with no revenue. Click the link below to get the complete list. Let's dive in. The first question I ask is, do I trust this founding team? If the answer is no, I stop right there. No trust, no deal. Assuming I trust the team, I ask, how amazing is the idea and how do people respond to it? If it's a bad idea, there's no hope. Then I ask question number three, what level of proof is there that the product actually works? Ideas need validation. Show me that it's been tested and it works. On to question four, does the product solve a specific pain point and who really needs this? If there's no pain, there's usually no urgency. But sometimes a product is disruptive, even if it doesn't address an apparent pain. Take Airbnb, for instance. People weren't complaining about hotels, yet it disrupted the whole industry. Or the iPad, when we already had iPhones and laptops. So I ask, is the product a disruptor? What's your favorite disruptor? Let me know in the comments. Next, I ask, how big is the market? Is there serious potential here? If yes, I move forward. If no, that's a red flag. Question seven is critical. What's the revenue potential and how solid are the five-year forecasts? In my experience, 90% of startup valuation hinges on revenue forecasts. The team must have a compelling one. Then I ask, what's the company's intellectual property? Is it protected or can someone leapfrog it with better tech? Question nine is, how thorough is the business plan? Has it been well thought through? Before we continue, don't forget, you can download the complete list of 18 questions for free through the link in the description. Question 10 is, who are the direct competitors and how will they respond? This is one area startups tend to overlook, but it's crucial. Next up, has the customer segment been clearly identified? Remember, the riches are in the niches. Focus here. In my 12th question, I ask how many startups have the founders been involved in? Prior failures can reduce mistakes in the future. Plus, what's the team's industry experience? It will be a rough ride if they don't know the industry. Moving to question 14, how thorough is the marketing plan? No prospective customer will hear about the product without a great marketing plan. My next question is, have potential partners or customers been identified? Partnering with an early customer or investor can provide a considerable advantage. For example, one company I work with developed hospital software in partnership with a hospital who also became their first customer and investor. This not only gave them credibility, but invaluable feedback. Question 16 is, what's the team's sales experience? You need people who can sell, not just sit behind a desk. Now for the surprising question I mentioned earlier, has the team identified its top three potential buyers? Forget about IPO dreams. Focus on who would want to acquire this company. The best founders are thinking about this from day one. Last is question 18. How many people have I told about this idea since I first learned it? This is my assessment of my own enthusiasm for the idea. When I got my first Fitbit, I told everyone I knew because I loved it. How much enthusiasm do I have for this startup? These are the 18 questions I answer 
to build a foundation for valuing a pre-revenue startup. What about you? Have you ever tried valuing a company without revenue? <laughs> Let me know your approach in the comments.